Our simple machine is a lever. A lever contains three parts, a rigid bar, a fulcrum, and a thing applying resistance. Different from the other five types of simple machines, there are three kinds of levers. Out of the three types, this video will focus on the second type, otherwise known as the second class lever. The second class lever has its force applied at one end and the fulcrum at the other. The row applying resistance is in the middle of the ridge bar as shown in the picture. There are many second class levers people use and don't recognize. Wheelbarrows, nutcrackers, and bottle openers are, are all examples of real world second class levers because the force and, and fulcrum are at the opposite ends and the resistance sits in the middle. To calculate the ideal mechanical advantage, we take the distance of the effort from the fulcrum divided by the distance of the resistance from the fulcrum. In this example, let's say the distance of effort is 4 feet and the distance of the resistance is 2 feet. In this case, the ideal mechanical advantage is 2. To calculate the actual mechanical advantage, we took the force of the low applying resistance and divided by the force of the effort. In this example, let's say the force of the resistance is 100 pounds and the force of the effort is 70 pounds. In this case, the actual mechanical advantage is 1.4. Yeah. Now that we have the ideal and actual mechanical advantage, we can calculate the efficiency. To calculate efficiency, we take the actual mechanical advantage and divide it by the ideal mechanical advantage. In this example, it's 2 divided by 1.4, so the efficiency is 70%. Efficiency at 70% could signal many things. It could just mean that maybe the lever itself wasn't very stiff, or maybe the object was shifting around a little bit. Or another possibility is that there were other forces working against it, such as friction. However, since no machine is ever 100% efficient, and efficiency of 70% is not terrible.